appearances essentially uh, styles being saved. So if I select this one, let's say, and I apply the graphic style, that's actually a combination of fills and strokes. So you get this panel called graphic styles by default, and you can find lots of different settings here that you can open up and you can try them out. Like, let's say, artistic effects. If I open that up, you can see, see we have all these different styles. Now, these are all using combinations of the uh, fill colors and strokes. So whenever you use one of these, you will see the combination here in the appearance panel. And that's why learning to work with the appearance panel is so important, because you can save any appearance and apply it easily by just using the same again from the graphic size panel. And that's how professional illustrators work. They have their set of different appearances and they apply them. And just to show you another quick example here, look how quickly and effectively I can draw uh, roads. If I just use the pencil tool here and I have my layer selected, start drawing. Obviously, it would be quite long to set this up to make it work. So I save the appearance that we need. And there you go. There's the road. And I can even keep continue drawing that. Remember the pencil. I can change direction and, and go over and am amend parts as well. You can even hold down the Alt key and smooth out sections while you are drawing. And this appearance is quite complex. It has around six strokes, as you can see, set up in a specific order. And that's how this is working. Okay, so working with appearance can make illustration much easier as long as you experience uh, or learn how to uh, work with the appearance panel.